Steve Bean Levy, a longtime actor, writer, and comedian, died on January 21 after a lengthy and public battle with nose cancer. He was 58 years old. Variety was first to report this sad piece of news, but Legacy.com has also published Levy's obituary. With over 30 credits to his name, Levy appeared in such shows as, Days of Our Lives, Monk Veronica Mars, Justified, Charmed and Third Rock from the Sun, along with Showtime hits Shamless and Ray Donovan. He was diagnosed with a rare and aggressive form of cancer called sinonasal squamous cell carcinoma in late 2016. In a 2018 piece for Mel magazine titled My Year Without a Nose, Levy chronicled his cancer journey and treatment, revealing that he underwent a schnozophomy. That's Yiddish for rhinectomy, which is English for cutting your nose off, he explained. As you can see, Levy never lost his sense of humor. This is a point he made in the aforementioned article. Concluding his emotional and impressive essay, Levy, who passed away with a prosthetic nose, said that doctors told him he had about one year to live. This is what he wrote. If you're keeping track at home, I've now lost my nose, my tear ducts, my upper palate and gums, all but four of my teeth, my appetite, my right cheekbone, much of my right jawbone, much of my right cheek, my eyebrows and mustache, chemo, the feeling in my upper lip, surgery, most of the motor control of the right side of my face, surgery, and some hearing in each ear, chemo. I also lost about 40 pounds, and worst of all, I lost my sense of humor. Added Levy. All of that physical stuff ain't ever coming back. Luckily, my sense of humor came back about a month ago. Not a moment too soon either, the latest scans show yet another recurrence of the cancer. The doctors tell me I have 9 to 12 months to live. Levy was born on April 27, 1960 in Lynn, Massachusetts. He attended Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and went on to work as an actor, comedian and writer, touching many lives, fans and programs along the way. Levy is survived by his wife, Caroline Kerrigan, son Jacob, and parents, Erwin and Dorothy Levy, among many other family members. Donations can be made to the Cancer Support Community Pasadena at 76 East Del Mar Boulevard No. 215, Pasadena, California, 91105. May he rest in peace.